Right, we're joined by Matt, who is a member of Blesma, which is the charity we are here supporting today. For those that don't know, Blesma is the British Limbless Ex Servicemen Association. It was set up just after World War One to support the men who fought bravely and lost limbs in the war and had life rehabilitating illnesses etc etc i think matt could probably explain this a lot better than i can matt over to you my well, friend you've done pretty well there in, 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 in effect yeah but we also support women as well so i just want to get that one in to be uh, politically correct <laughs> these days and correct in general yeah um so yeah we're, we're a membership association of people who are have lost limbs um loss of sight is included as well total loss of sight um really nice association to be part of um and uh, yeah, membership club. The membership costs are pretty high in all fairness, though. Uh, limbs missing and things like that. So yeah. How did you get involved then? Well, I, I my my military background. I was uh, serving the Royal Marines from 1985 to 91. So a long time ago now. Hence no hair. <laughs> what I've got has gone grey. Um, so a long time ago, but I'm still one of the young ones as well for some of them. So yeah, um, loss of limb. So I had, a, had an injury on an exercise, nothing too glamorous I'm afraid, um, but it's a dangerous job isn't it? So I'm one of the percentage of sort of uh, injured people that go by the wayside sometimes. So yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting thing that I've just said as well, um, fall by the wayside. So that goes on to one of the key things that we do as an association, get people back to fellow like-minded individuals who've suffered trauma, um, in one way or another um, and to support them and, and help them carry on and live lives uh, independently and fulfilling so that's yeah that's well the good thing about this Matt is that you're really you're kind of like nonchalant about it and really calm about it yeah I can imagine if you're for a young man young woman that's serving out to lose a limb there must be a certain level of just panic and trauma yeah. and yet you're yeah. stood here representing Blesma smiling your head off about it and I can, it's not on camera but do have a prosthetic leg just below just below the yeah, knee yeah. I'm guessing like yeah. and there must have been a point where you're like what the hell do I do well that's 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 the point isn't it and what what do you do you have little choice you give up or do you crack on yeah and the mentality is to crack on now um yeah okay visually um, let me just have a shot because I've seen people like there it is Right, yeah, this is a piece of American carbon fibre called a Falawa All Pro, which is just as good as a normal ankle, really. Um, wow. Yeah. So you can see the energy return I'm getting off as I move off my um, prosthesis. There you go. Bit of spring there. Bit of dancing. <laughs> but yeah, was so, that dancing, was it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Boot neck shuffle. Um, <laughs> so there you go. Um, yeah, um, recovery. We can dwell on our losses, can't we? Or we can get... Um, I was going to quote Voltaire there, but I can't remember the quote in its entirety. But we can either dwell on our misfortunes or sack them and get lost and carry on with what looks good. Uh, That's a direct quote from Voltaire. Who's <laughs> <that? laughs> <laughs> Voltaire? Voltage, he's an electrical. Yeah, didn't he play for Madrid? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's something like that. So, yeah, crack on. Um, uh, the support's there, that helps. Um, but we can't dwell on negative things. Like, we're still here. L lots and lots of people aren't. So I think that's the perfect way of putting it because, as much as, and I don't want to reduce what's happened and losing a limb but the mental side of it must be equally as important to solve if not more yeah very very much so these days with modern day prosthetics you are as i've just sort of demonstrated the the prosthetics are as good as the joints you've lost in my experience of yeah. them so it's the mental thing that's that's key really and we can dwell on that we can go quite deep in it um, um we have people who have suffered from paralysis as well and having wow. to drag a limb around it's a different thing um, and we have the the trauma of not no longer being complete yeah so 25 percent of my body has already gone up there or somebody will say down there um, and 75 percent i'm still trying to re retain and hold on to uh, as best as i can and, and as, as well as i can really so yeah do you know what you are such an inspirational person because just the <laughs> mentality the smiling you're yeah. really you're making, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. And a bacon sandwich. But yeah. you're making light of something that is a hugely serious issue. I mean, this charity's been going for over 100 years now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would someone watching this get in? We'll put a link in the description on YouTube as well. Yeah. But how would somebody think, I want to be involved with Blesma, I want to help, I know someone that might need some help from Blesma? How can someone. Well, the, the like, simplest thing I can say to that is Blesma.org. We're out there. Do a search on Blesma, British Limitless Ex Services Association. Not many other things called that on, on the internet. So, yeah, plug yourself in is the best way I can say we're all very approachable people you know, even on an individual basis don't be shy yeah, I can, suppose there's people like yourself who've got a similar stories that you oh. someone needs to help you can relate to them yeah yeah and that's a key thing uh, empathy um, and relating very much you know I'm, I've been there a noon below the amputee come and talk to us do you find there's like a, a I'm sorry to carry on do you find there's like a very macho like I'm just gonna 
hold on to this. I'm not. I'm going to deal with it internally. Do you find that comes about a lot? Well, I think I think there's the pride element, and, and you've hit the nail on the head. My own my own experience was that um, I view, straight from the outset was that I viewed there are plenty of people worse off than me. You know, I'm, I'm what we call a flesh wound in limb lesmo, lower limb. I've got both knees. I can bounce around. I can stand upright. Plenty of people haven't. You know, we've got through pelvis amputees. We've got high. We've got triple amputees. Wow. You know, so you, you can take it as, as how you like it. So uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so just, um, I've lost where we were, mate. We were talking about um, <laughs> being macho and yeah, hiding yeah, it and okay. internalising. Yeah, that's right, I'm back to my, my story. So what I, I took that view that there's plenty of more people uh, worse off than me, which is a little bit of the wrong way to go. You've got to look at what's wrong with you, what you're going through, and deal with yourself, and that allows you to move on. It took me quite a few years to get to that stage. I was, yeah, macho, and I don't want to bother people. You know, lost my self-esteem, lost my respect, and all the rest of that. So, um, yeah, that's, that's a key thing, really. You can tell just from this video that that is all back. Your self-esteem and respect is back. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more. Not, from, not from an ear. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how you get on on the golf course, how the self-esteem goes. But exactly. <laughs> Matt, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Tell us about Blesma. It's blesma.org, as you said, yeah. and there will be a link in the video description here as well. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thanks a lot. No, thank awesome. you. Thanks a lot.